this is what happens when a plastic jug gets too close to the exhaust. <laughs> so this is no good no more. Mm. So luckily I have two of these and this one was just a spare one. So I took off all the extra parts and I'm keeping those. Here are the extra parts and I'm gonna keep these just in case um, I lose the other ones or they break. But this is gonna get recycled, so yep, no good. Lesson learned. Here's the exhaust here and usually I keep the bottles pushed back but for some reason, um, I, this bottle had got moved forward and I didn't push it back and that's the exhaust melted it right here. So, yep, at least I know better next time. Another thing I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna divert the exhaust. Um, I'm gonna cut this out right here and I'm gonna bend this metal piece out so that way I can keep this lid closed and the exhaust still can exhaust out of the box. I'm also going to put an extension pipe on there and I'm going to bend, like I said, this metal forward here so it'll be a heat shield and it'll protect this. Alright, I got some makeup on and I changed my clothes. Um, now that I'm done messing with the generator area, we are going to head to the hardware store. Right, Mumu? Yep, hardware store time because um, there's something I need to pick up. Bad circuit breaker. Bad, bad, bad. I noticed um, when I caught on my power or plugged in um, to my generator that uh, one of my circuit breakers was making a crackling sound. So that means it was going bad. Um, so I went to Lowe's and tried to find one there. The electrician told me I, I found one really close, but it wasn't the same one. And the electrician told me that it's best to buy the same brand because of the fact that you can start a fire that way so he suggested a hardware store for me it's right down the road it's national hardware store so and they had the same one which was awesome um they said that uh the company had switched names well they got bought out so but it, it's the same company and they look exactly the same so that's good and it only costs $8.55. Awesome. I love it when it's cheap. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm ready to get back on the road because it is getting freaking hot here. It's summertime already so of course it's going to be hot at the beach. <sighs> Lord, it's hot, 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 hot. Oh, that breeze feels good. <laughs> I guess I can roll my windows up and use the air conditioning. Okay. Here's the plate. I removed the plate. And this is where the old one goes. It just goes right in there. And the new one. And it's easy. There's a screw right there. The wire or wires go in that hole. These two wires right here. They just go in that hole and I screw it down and then I push it back in. Here's the new circuit breaker. Just loosen up this screw. Time to put the plate back on, which is easy. All I do is, is that two screws. Ta-da! And it is done. Awesome. 
I, like I said, it was making a crackling sound when I'd flip on the breaker, which is never a good thing. You don't want to hear that. But um, we're going to cut on the generator and I'm going to test it out and see if it makes that sound. Keep our fingers crossed and hopefully not. Come on, monster. You want to start the generator with me? <laughs> All right. Well, you're not going to start it. I am. All right. Let's start this beast. It's pretty easy to start, thank God. Ta da! And with the idle turned down, it's not loud at all. So let's go check this breaker out, make sure everything's cool. Come on, Moo Moo. Inside. Good girl. Alright, I'm down on my knees begging, please, 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 please work. Alright. I don't think that's what they meant by the song. Let's see. How about I get shot? Mm. Awesome, there goes the click and the little humming sound. So, we're good to go. Let's see if it's charging. It's on fair. Let's see what it is now. Up, oh, yep, now it's up to good, so it's charging. And I don't hear no bad sounds coming from the box. So it's working. Yep, it is charging. The main reason I bought the generator was because I didn't want to run the AC on my solar system. So that's why I bought the generator and it works well for that. I have to turn up the idle in order to run the, um, the AC on it but if I'm just gonna charge my batteries I turn the idle all the way down and it just sips gas but it still charges all the battery banks because I have this internal charger and I also bought a charger for um, the big battery bank so yeah and it and it charges it because I do experience cloudy days and just sometimes you know the battery bank isn't all charged up so it's nice to top off my batteries that way well, I'm glad this problem is fixed. So uh, for every thumbs up, it's like a pat on the back to me, and I appreciate every pat on the back. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to keep this, even though I know it was bad for about a week, and then I'm going to toss it. Rain, rain, go away. Come back some other day. What the heck is it with rain and me? The rain loves to follow me. But anyways, since we're done, with the uh, electrical issue um, and the circuit breaker. I'm heading to Florence, South Carolina, figures. It was bright and sunny, now it's cloudy and rainy. So, yeah, we're going down 378 to uh, um, Florence and we gotta cut up. All right, well, we made it to Florence, South Carolina, so I had to stop by the bank and do a deposit because I have to make a payment. Dang bills. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, we're done with that. Now we're gonna go to a park and do a hike. Sounds good to me. All right, we'll see you there. All right. We are almost here. Wow, there are some amazing looking houses. Look at that house. Awesome. That's a pretty house too. This is it right here. And, oh god, parking sucks. Alright, well, I'm gonna go up a little bit. Alright, well, I found a little fishing area. Oh, here it is, okay. Awesome, yeah, let me get turned around. Here's a parking spot. Awesome. Come in here, Moo Moo. <laughs> wow. These trees are kind of low lined. The solar panels are still in the sun, barely. <laughs> and yeah, we're here. Alright, well, I got something on that will be better for hiking in the woods. Got some long pants under my shorts, so that way 
just in case any ticks. I saw a tick yesterday and I don't want no Lyme disease. Nope. that park was awesome the trail was short so we had to go around several times but it was very beautiful and I enjoyed it and so did we we had fun <laughs> lots of fun so yeah we're gonna get on the road because it's getting later in the day so and we have one more destination yay let's do this you ready Moo Moo? <laughs> all right let's go I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey, <laughs> I'm back. We're getting on I-95 now and heading north. Thanks, Bev. Let me show y'all. I'll turn you around. All right, here we are getting ready to get on I-95. Oops, behind some people. Alright, merging on to I-95 North and I ninety five north for thirty four miles. And um, my destination is like she said thirty four miles and about thirty minutes up the road. There's the exit for one to go back to Myrtle Beach, but we're not. Onward bound we go. <laughs> Alright, well we're almost there. Here's the mile countdown. Five, four, three. Two, one, and welcome to South of the Border. <laughs> Here's our exit coming up right here. Here's the big tower. Thanks, ma'am. All right, well, we're here south of the border. Right 
actually in South Carolina. It's um, right before the border of North Carolina. That's why it's called South of the Border. So welcome to South of the Border. Let's see what's here. I've been here, it, but it's been so long. I was here when I was younger, but I don't remember too much of it. And it looks like they've popped up a bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh look, neat. All right, Pedro's campground. All right. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do a drive-through real quick first, since it's been so long. Pedro's Myrtle Beach Shop. Oh, they have a Myrtle Beach Shop. Oh, I need to get a Myrtle Beach souvenir. You know, I'm from Myrtle Beach and I have no souvenirs from Myrtle Beach. I need a sticker. Alright. Oh, there's a big gorilla. <laughs> awesome. Ice cream shop. Fort Pedro. Okay. T-shirt shop. Another big monkey. Gorilla. Bear. Awesome. Hmm. Your destination is on the left. Oh, that's awesome. Come on, people go around me. Now that's a convention center. Wow, they got a lot going on there. Oh, sorry. I'm turning. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to turn around. This is the end of it. This is Pedro's truck stop. Alright, there's another view of south of the border, so I'm going to go and park somewhere and see what it's all about. There's another RVer. Hello, fellow RVer. Alright, now I just have to find somewhere to park. Hey, big gorilla. I wonder if I can park here. Looks like it. Alright, okay, awesome. Come here, Mimi. Well, we made it to South of the Border. We're going to do a little exploring around and see what they've got here. I got my sticker south of the border. <laughs> well, this place is definitely geared towards tourists. There's, I mean, it's all touristy, but um, it's still a cool place to visit. I mean, it's on the roadside, definitely worth stopping and checking out the stores and stuff. Well, I decided to make me something to eat before getting on the road. Something a little healthier. Green beans. Mm. Sauteed green beans. And a grilled turkey and cheese sandwich oh, with cream cheese. <laughs> Not so healthy. Mm. But really good. Well, this was definitely a fun pit stop, but it's time to get back on the road. I'm getting ready to run into the uh, Myrtle Beach store so I can pick up a Myrtle Beach sticker. I know, I'm from Myrtle Beach, but I still want a sticker from there. Um, and I ran on onto the campground here. It's kind of whimsical looking. It's cute though. <laughs> Small. What the heck is up with that? You're a Myrtle Beach store, but I have no Myrtle Beach stickers. I'm gonna need y'all to get it together. Thank you very much. All right, back on the road. All right, here we go. Back on 95 North. 
Meredith headed towards Fayetteville. Oh, horsies! <laughs> That's a weird place to stop. Like they're letting their dogs out. <laughs> Alright, well, we're not quite to Fayetteville. There's a Lowe's and a Walmart here. So I needed to go to Home Depot, but I can always go to Lowe's. Alright, well, we're here. Awesome. Some sauce. Well, I'll probably. Yeah, definitely stay here. I'm gonna run into Lowe's and see what they have here, if they have those locks. So I'll grab some. And then I'm probably gonna boondock at this Walmart right next door. Well, crapper apper. They did not have the child locks. That really blows. Anywho. I'm coming over to Walmart. I was thinking it just to go ahead and go to Home Depot, which is about 30 more minutes up the road. Ugh. 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 I just bit my tongue. I guess we'll just stick it out here. There's security here. But I see two RVs here, so I don't know. I'll, I'll go ask. Oh my god, that sunset's gorgeous. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. Isn't that beautiful? 